The red frame is kind of like meh right now. It's just a, a mass-produced piece of shit currently. It's not very good, but a stray red frame, it's fucking good, and it's also a top-tier MG. Get one to build one. I could give the in-fights to Low because he just like he fucking loves them, but no. You could also give them to Kazuma, seeing as he does a lot of punching now, but no. We're going to be giving them to Koji and Ryoma. Brigadier General Garcia welcomes Captain Ramius to Artemis, and uh, she's like, Yo, can please help me keep the Archangel and its cargo safe. She's expecting the Zaf troops that attacked uh, Heliopolis to uh, follow him. But Garcia's like, no, the Artemis Umbrella, it's impregnable. Uh, so rest easy um, until the survivors are sent to Orb. And we was like, wow, you're pretty helpful. And he's like, even though you're from the Atlantic Union, I'm from the Eurasia Union. We're both from the Federation, right? But what he does want to see is this new Strike Gundam in its pilot. There's, uh, there's a thing you can only do on your second playthrough. Uh, everything keeps the upgrades it has... Like, like, that you've done. And the freedom and all the seed guys inherit the upgrades from the st strike. But, Kira joins in the freedom one stage before you have the strike, locking in his upgrade level. So, you can upgrade the strike loads on your first playthrough, and then on your second playthrough, he'll inherit the new ones. But it's the little stupid thing that's not even really a trick. Anyway, Kazma's back the one on the log and he's like, Yep, here I am. Half a year older and hopefully wiser. He's got better appreciation for his father's admonition to treasure his memories and he's gonna commit them to the log. But, however, Flay comes in, he's like, Dinner's ready He's like, Oh, Flay, I I gotta say sorry for all the non high society stuff you're being made to help out with. He's like, No, it's fine and he's like, well, I think it'll be good for you. Uh, <laughs> to maybe do something practical, but he says, you don't need to speak super formally with with uh, me, like, we're close to the same age, you don't need to call me, like, Mr. Kazuma, it's fine. You just call me Kazuma. Over dinner, he gets uh, filled in on what's happening. Uh, Galian and Mamaru have gone off to deep space to help out people in need. Uh, they were originally accompanied by the Voltron team, who are returning to Altea. Lo? The adventurous spaceman is impressed uh, that the rumors of the warden using alien mecha were true. Uh, what about Akito and Yurika? Uh... Well, Horace says they got married uh, with objections from her father, but there was an accident on their honeymoon and they were both killed. He's like, Ugh. does the goddess of fate herself determine that those two shouldn't be together? And then the horse like, okay, what is it? She's like, I gotta, I gotta say something. And he's like, no, keep it to yourself. But apparently, uh, as to add insult to injury, Inez uh, was, uh, Professor Inez was killed a little after in a similar accident. Uh, Chasm was like, well, oh, explanation of happy scientists and two star-crossed lovers must be causing a ruckus in heaven. Let's to get the angels of love on their side, and again, Akane is, and I was like, no, Akane, don't, don't say shit. After the Nesco was immobilized, its crew had been scattered, and uh, scattered, they had been scattered, and uh, some have entered the military, some have returned to civilian life. Uh, D Boy and Miyuki have also been in my ace since the Holy Valentine Light incident, but the Adam is still here, and still a menace, and it sucks. Uh, Aki's been searching for ways to get rid of him, for what that can do, and. Uh, Flay's like, wow, all that in just six months! And then Akane was like, uh, I guess the people at Heliopolis didn't really care for what happened outside their colony. And Kazuma's like, whoa, whoa, Flay's not to blame for any of this. And she's like, no, she's got a point. Listening to all this stuff that's happening throughout the Earth sphere, like, that peaceful upbringing I've had in Heliopolis was a lie. It's fucking dangerous out there, dude. And then Kazuma is just like, I just hope the like, internally, like, I just hope the shock of facing reality and all the fights doesn't set her down a bad path. 
Meanwhile, it turns out that her dad is the vice president of the Atlantic Union and personally involved in searching for his daughter. There you go. Uh, upon hearing this, she's like, oh yeah, my dad has always been extremely solicitous where I'm concerned. And everyone's like, well, yeah, but you got a dad that loves you a lot. It's good. So we're going to head to uh, Artemis. She's like, Papa? Um, where the So yeah, we're going to go to the Artemis where the Federation Army ship has taken shoulder after the fall of Heliopolis. But uh, everyone has to uh, stomach Akane's feast of mayonnaise-flavoured everything. Mmm, mayonnaise. It's good for you. Back at Artemis, the Federation's fourth fleet's experimental battleship, the Nadesco B, has just arrived, captained by none other than Ruri. Uh, Garcia's like, what are you doing here? And she says, several Eurasian military strongholds in space have been destroyed, so we are here. He's like, yeah, yeah, I heard that. And he's heard the stories of a ghost space robot, and Ruri says, the military takes this seriously enough to dispatch an, in an investigative mission. And then Nadesco switched to patrol as part of that, and Garcia's like, yeah, genetically engineered wench, mm, just like the coordinators, Meh. And he's like, well, dude, chill the fuck out. And she's like, I'm just going to do my mission, whatever you say. And he's like, I'm not giving you any of our stuff. He's, I'm ready for the ghost. It's just a cover for spying on our military strength. And she's like, I don't fucking care about stupid Federation politics. And uh, he's like, okay, just so you, you don't get embarrassed by getting totally shut out by me, the cool dude, you can have a visual inspection of the base. And she's like, uh, and he's like, oh, what, the electric fairy doesn't want to use her own legs and not her computer? And uh, she looks at him with a special magic golden eye and says, yeah, sure, I'll take you up on your opter. And uh, she'll do an investigation her own way. Garcia's like, whatever. They're trying to throw me off guard with their little girl emissary, and I'm not falling for it. And then his second inquiry is like, wouldn't this show of hostility just arouse more suspicion? Shouldn't we have just been, like, gracious and nice? And he's like, nope, nope. I'm covering everything, even if it means Rory and the Nadesco have an accident. <laughs> he's comically evil. He's, uh, the Nadesco proved crucial in keeping the Eurasian Union viable, and if the true party's dealings with them become known, then the Eurasian Union will fall. Someone is like, okay, okay, but Garcia's like, them, plus the Nadesco, plus that little kid I just got, must surely equal victory, if not leadership, over the entire Federation. So he's got his subordinate ready to destroy the Nadesco if he gets anywhere near docks 12 and 13, using their new guests, if they have to. The subordinate has also lured that ship with the civilian aboard to Artemis, making Garcia's dirty work that much easier, and he's sure that his luck has changed after being held responsible for failing to capture a whispered and being sent to the rear echelon. Fuck you, dude. There's Guy. Here's uh, Harry. He sucks. Yeah, he's alright. Uh, he's getting antsy while Rory's doing an inspection, saying, I sh should have gone with the captain, and uh, Sabarota, you remember that dude? That dude who was like, oh, I'm so fucking hyped up! And then he murdered all of the guys, all of the Galra. Uh, he's dyed his hair uh, blonde and red, and this is him now. He's fucking stupid. And he's like, yeah, you're worrying too much about your beloved captain. And he's like, wait, I thought Jovian soldiers were all brave and morally upstanding men. And he's like, yeah, what's happened? So concentrate on the job Rory gave you. He's like, yeah, okay, and he's going to hack into the base's computers and look for whatever the base's commander is hiding. Suddenly, he sees something strange. Something, someone other than him's hacking into the base's computers. And a message. Oh, Tika. There you go. Uh, he's being uh, broadcast across the, all of the Nadesco's and Artemis' systems. Oh, Tika, what could that be? What? Does it, does it read anything backwards? Ooh, maybe. Mission 30. Dream of the Goddess, Ambition of the War God. Well, they sent out an impressive array of bullshit to greet us and the Junkmen and uh, their stern kugels among to the Crimson Group. Horace has heard that the Eurasians were cranking these out uh, in place of the Estivalis. Uh, maybe that's related to all the activity in Nurgle's factories lately? The president hasn't shown himself uh, for a while. I, I mean, certainly he's up to something though, and that'd be Akatsuki, if all things have remained. 
Kazuma wants, uh, he's like, uh, okay, let's uh, hand you off to the Artemis forces. And she's like, thanks. but uh, And he's like, don't worry, spacemen are all about helping fellow humans. And he's like, I hope you'll find your friends and father on Artemis. And then uh, Lois like, uh, make sure you use your unexpectedly saved life well. The soldiers order Kazuma to hand fly over through empty space instead of properly docking. And you're like, uh, okay, it's like, okay, sure. And then uh, they do it, and uh, copying guy, Kazuma goes, mission complete. And uh, Mihiro is like, oh, you're not going to get to see the umbrella. He's like, but if you did, I mean, that means enemies are attacking, so maybe it's for the best. At that moment, Garcia activates it and turns on the fucking barrier. Whoa. He declares that the hostage has been recovered and uh, they should capture the unfair space pirates. And Kazuma is like, shit, that's us, we've been had. And Lowe's like, we can't run from this many dudes at once. we got to fight until a chance to run shows up. And Kazuma's like, how dare they call me a goddamn space pirate. These dudes are all fucking garbage. Like, all actual trash. The only real downgrade with not having uh, Bless in the ship anymore is nobody has Auto Crit or Valor anymore. Well, for now. Uh, Akane learns Valor, I believe. And I think she learns the uh, Invincible too. She might already have it, in fact. You can go there even for maximum coverage. Aboard the Artemis, Ryoko and Yamada. He's like, call me Kai Daigoji! Call me Kai Daigoji! And she's like, isn't that the way that guy's flying? And remind, that's Kazuma! That's how that guy's flying! And guy's like, damn, he's alive! And Ryoko's like, but why does he join Space Pirates? That's weird. Uh, Muru is watching, he's like, why are the Federation troops fighting? And these guys, not Zaft, and uh, Mu is like, this might be the chance we need to escape from Garcia's clutches. I'm pretty sure he's in for bad news because we've been made prisoners, and uh, the dock to our ship's been sealed. So he tells Muru to wait for uh, the moment when the enemy attack affects Artemis itself, and then things will be into chaos and he'll get out. But what about the barrier? Garcia, me was I? <laughs> I'm gonna get my hands on the red mobile suit and the trailer units. They'll uh, let me go home with my head held high with all that bullshit. And so I wonder again, it's like, but sh capturing them will surely result in losses to our existing forces. Should we deploy the anti-ghost forces, the lion sickle? And Garcia is like, nah. No need to launch uh, that group of Estivalises. Let's uh, go eye for an eye. How'd you go, guy? G Murakumo. So, Guy, Kazuma, and Lo all recognize each other, and uh, he's like, Captain, they appear to know each other? And Garcia's like, nah, he's not going to try anything while we've got our guest in custody. Heh, <laughs> And it's Elijah. So, Lo's like, hey, Guy, I didn't expect to see you so soon, but I guess you're not here to give us a warm welcome. And Guy's like, surrender your units right now. Lo uh, says, oh, I guess you've been hired. And Kazuma's like, nah, something's weird. It's. Mm. And guys, just there are different circumstances. Further dialogue isn't needed. So he's going to attack us, and I guess we've got no choice but to fight back. But all these guys are bad, and the stone googles are bad. 
But yeah, Prince of Darkness, which is uh, a the Desco movie set after the series. It apparently, like it, like it's it's re like it's super shits on Yuriko and Yuriko and Akita like fucking a lot. But apparently, it was the first of three. There were going to be three movies. But people saw the first one and were like, oh my god, this is awful. This is proper shit on everything we liked about Nadesco. And then nobody bought the, like, the home release, the DVDs and shit. Nobody bought them. And they were just like, no interest in it. We're not going to make the rest. So the end of Nadesco is just fucking grim and shit. Because they never got to do the follow up. Sure, attacking fucking home. And now we've got. Heh, now that our machines are on a level playing field, it won't be like before. And then eight goes. Now that it's down to a difference in skill, we'll die for sure. Hey, shut up! We'll take him out the junkman way. Poor Logue. Don't get no respect. Hey, you got this beam saber? Yeah, beam sabers. What do you recommend? Beam sabers, beam rifle. But yeah, this is a uh, guy with an upgrade to the blue frame already. It's full weapons, I think. So it's got loads of shit on it. Fucking didn't eat shit. Battle was on, Rory tells uh, Harry to try hacking the base again using the keyword Akito, the reverse of the message Otika, flooding the computers. He's like, sure. Akito, that's Otika backward. So wait, there's a secret 13th dock. Contain a list of A-class jumpers, which are humans capable of uh, performing the boson jump, including Akito. Uh, Harry's like, why the heck do the Eurasians have this? And... Uh, Garcia's like, dang it, guy, you're shitty at fighting. Uh, everybody else is like, Lo is never going to be a guy like this. He's a coordinator and more experienced. But the professor might have the answer. He's lucky. If Chris comes to shove, his luck will win. Uh, and she's like, and if nothing else, his idiocy is way higher than any r regular natural. He might just pull off something so crazy it could surprise the, en the enemy. Basically, his coordinator levels are stupid, is uh, her reasoning. And Akane's like, Shh, we need to think of something or things are going to get worse. And then uh, Carrot's like, oh, approaching unit. Wait, an unidentified mech, what the heck? And it heads straight for Artemis. And Garcia's like, ah, oh, it's the ghost. Whatever. Even the fastest mech is powerless before the umbrella. Uh, unfortunately, it just fucking bows on jumps th through, just teleports. It's like, what? And then it blows away the generator. It's like, holy shit, that's got. What the? Horace uh, says, like, I can't believe such a tiny mech's got jump engines. This is no space pirate. And Garcia's like, dang it, my perfect plan's been ruined! Go, Lion Sickle! And Elijah and Moo are like, now's our chance, we need to fucking get out of here. 
Ryoko is uh, looking forward to putting the hurt on the ghost mech, and uh, it quickly leaves. It's like, oh, and she's like, quick, after him. Uh, however, before that, she and Guy uh, get hailed by Kazuma. She's like, hey, I recognize that voice. Like, oh, it is you. I figured it was you, after all. And Guy's like, yo, Kazuma, why'd you join the space pirates? And Guy's like, I ain't done nothing. We're just defending ourselves. These nerds started attacking us. Then Eliza shows up. He's like, I'm free. He's like, oh, that's why you were following Garcia's orders. And Guy's like, I can't believe my commander would do something so dirty. And Ryoko's like, eh, I kind of had a feeling like that he was up to no good. And Kazuma says, let's save it for later. They're here. It's the Zaft, led by Dirka, Isaac, and Nicole. And they're like, mm, yep, they blow up all the remaining army troops. And they're like, the umbrella's down. Ah. Isaac uh, wants to blow up the Archangel and the base as well uh, to totally wipe out the strike. And Dick uh, figures that Athrun's missing out, having been called back to plant. Uh, the Zaf folks start uh, aiming at Artemis, blah, blah, blah. And then Joker's like, sorry, Cousin, but we need help from you and that red guy if we're going to do this. And Lloyd's like, fine by me, space from tradition to help people out, but guy. And then this guy goes, you called? Your name's Yamada. You're going to help us, right? Is that a job offer? This isn't the time to talk shop. You mercs are too inconsiderate. Very well, I have a debt to repay to the space commanders anyway. I would have done this even if I hadn't joined with you. Yeah, a mixed team of junkmen, trailers, mercs, and a couple of soldiers, eh? Not too shabby. Ooh, a battle with the blazing red and the cool blue. My soul is burning even more. I see you haven't changed one bit, Guy. Guy Murakumo, I'm sorry we have to ask for your help a second time. We're counting on you. Come, Zaft, only you put a single hand on these civilians. And, uh... The Gundam guys are all tough. They, uh... They reduce, like, all damage except beams by a thousand. And uh, the jewel and the blitz have a special shield, which stops beams, but they need the skill. And uh, blitz Gundam also has the Mirage Colloid, where it's got double image after uh, 130 morale. Like they're pretty good. So we've got two turns to kill uh, Nicole. Uh, Bruno says, "I don't think it's worth it, but he's worth some goodies and cash." So. Uh, and if you have Kazuma fight uh, Guy before the plot kicks in, he's like, Kazuma, I have no choice but to fight you right now. I owe you a lot, Guy, but I'm not going to let this stupid, senseless battle kill me. But I definitely need to make this thing good. Full weapons then. It's just got a bazooka, I think. Is the only difference. Yeah, and they're in the newest of Alice, I believe. to come over here to make life easier. Because if I can attack him with uh, the big boy and then give him another attack by combining, it will be fucking set as hell and it will be good. It will be good. Garcia gets news of the Archangel's crew trying to escape, and he's like, shit, can't do nothing about it. Uh, Kira runs into Flay on the way, and she's like, oh, you're one of uh, Sai's friends. He's like, sorry, no time to talk. And he's like, if you know her from Heliopolis, get her on board, let's go. 
and the Archangel uh, gets out of here, and as soon as it's out, it's fucking gone. And uh, Guy then reveals that when they came to Art Seek and helped to escape, Zaf Garcia captured these guys as well, and Chasm's like, dang it! Federation Army must be pretty complicated if they've got to the point where they'd imprison their own forces, right? And then uh, Nicole and Durka are like, hey, that white ship! It's like, nope. Can't pursue him, these guys are in the way, and Isaac is fucking annoyed at losing it again. He's like, I guess I'll just wipe out Artemis as an example to the Earth. <laughs> and uh, Rory orders Nadesco to stay on patrol pan A. And if that list means what she thinks it means, this battle is far from over. So I've rode the poison, he's like, Harry, leave the enemies outside the ship to me. He's like, I'm just, despite my usual behavior, I'm still the brave Jovian soldier, I'll show you my skills. And, uh, Guy Dagoji is like, ah, this blazing turn of events is just like Geki Ganger episode 28. And Sabro is like, ah, oh, come on, that show's way out of style now. And, uh, Kazuma and Mio are like, we've heard that voice before, right? And Sabro is like, we'll talk later after the enemies are done. But first we'll come over here, and we'll. Shot launch four nerds. I should have got the ones above just to get him out of the fucking way. Now we unite and he can go again. And guy is hitting away because he's good. If someone's got hitting away naturally, they're good. That's the rule. Go one fucking square more. See if I can find what this is. Uh, I don't give a crap about naturals and coordinators, but I'll give it to anyone who won't respect the sanctity of life. Oh, wow. With a steely look in his eyes. You want to move Ryoko first, because, uh... Guy still is in the Oh, they're fuck I forgot about the new fishbowl hats. But yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys don't have sword cut and shoot down. They might have shoot down anymore, but I don't think they have sword cut anymore. Yeah, like, they don't have barrier piercing shit anymore. They're, like, bad now. It's weird. Fucking Saboroda, he was all right, I guess. Isaac in the 
dual Gundam Assault Shroud it is a fucking jerk to deal with because you kill him once and you get the reward but he purges the armor and he still lives it's like the Tekka Man thing where if you kill him and then Pegas blows up but he's still fine it's that but for the fucking bad dude and it sucks oh wiggly fingers multi beam oh first you give him the right one then you give him the left oh And here's Derka in the Buster Gundam, which is good. I think he's actually like the worst one out of the three. Hey! They kind of look like the Red Frame. Likely there's Federation units stolen from Heliopolis. So, they're Red's cousins, right? Looks like Zaf strips and reuses old stuff just like us Junkmen. Yeah, I think he's like the worst one. Because he's got like a blind spot at point blank range. But he's still alright, I like him. I, but I just like I like the Buster Gundam anyway. Okay. Give him that. Yeah, give give me the goodies. Mmm, 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 mmm. Yeah, I'm gonna bop them. If I stand here, I'll be able to bop that guy too. Oh, you counted me, Nico. Good. Well, luckily, he tries hard to kill himself. Nice face shift arm, I didn't help you though, did it? Multi combo, nice. Like, woo, I'm out, woo, I'm dying, woo. I want to do the good move, my friends. The good move. How do I become Friday? I was born this way, but I didn't realize. Super guy, Oppa! I inherited it. Look at that shit. See if you can get this phase shift fucker, we can't by the way. What I should have done is split the Valgard up actually, so they got another turn. That was my dingus move. Uh, here's Ryoko. I don't care if you're natural or coordinated. If you want to go, I'll be happy to fight. Uh, Ryoko's hair is blue, it's her natural hair color. She dyed it green because blue was too anime. Well, this is her new distortion field attack. Not as sick as guys, right? And, uh, what does the guy say? The guy says something to, uh, Guy says I may be a soldier now, but my burning spirit is as super as ever. Behold my Geku soul. What's Guy? I see you've repurposed the Federation's new technology. If our machines are equal, it comes down to the pilot. Engaging. Fucking murdered that guy.
And Elijah's, uh, are these crew's headsmen? We're up against the absolute best of Zaft! Mm. Mm. And, uh, Sabaroda, uh, says, Zaft, so coordinators. I do still owe George Glenn, but I think that's just about expired. Sorry, but this is happening. Look at this guy with his two guns, and then he can plug them in to make different guns. Fucked up. Very modular. Too bad he fucking missed. Well, we got two of them, right? We didn't get uh, Isaac. I think we could have. Nah, I don't think we could have got uh, Isaac. Thinking about it, I don't think we could have got him. Oh, fucking Staburota. You should definitely do that one. Yeah, don't quite get to get him. Anyway, Crusette radios in and uh, orders uh, Decker to call in the troop, recall the troops immediately. It's like they're already gone. He's got information that an emergency has occurred and help will be on the way to the Artemis area. So they pull out, and the uh, guy is like, "Wow, yeah, you better stay back unless you want to." fucking left fist to go with the right one I just gave you. And Kazuma's like, it's weird retreat, right? And Horace says they managed to intercept a bit of their communication. It seems something big happened in Zaf's area of influence. Garcia's fucking livid that everything went wrong. He lost the Archangel, the umbrella was destroyed, and his second in command is like, this episode has gone far enough. And Harry detects the 13th dock opening. And from it emerges the original Dodesco. Wait a minute, wasn't that meant to be, like, in there after the Zono da Robo? And, uh, Rory says it's a replica of our old ship. The Nadesco B then shows up and says, like, holy shit, it's another Nadesco? And uh, Rory introduces herself as, uh, Captain Rory, and she has the old Moekane is also here with her. Garcia is losing his shit that these ships could launch without his permission. But uh, his second in command declares himself a member of the Martian successors and informs him that he's become unnecessary. And uh, they start blowing the shit out of him. He's like, and like, you're exactly the kind of scum that led to Earth's downfall. Uh, Rory uh, tells that, that yeah, Rory t says that this fake Nedesco's firepower comes from the fact it's equipped with THE Y unit. In fact, she thinks it was uh, made specifically to drive the Y unit. Uh, Akane tells her to hold on. And it's like, yeah, oh, wait, wait, didn't we drop that in Jupiter's oceans? Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ryoko then goes, wait, but if that's our Y unit, because it was like, then. The boson jump targeting unit's gonna be there too, because they've rescued both of them. The Martian successor's shock troops then appear. As does the ghost. And uh, Kazuma recognizes Hokuten's unit from before, it's the same red mech we saw when we fought the Jovians, and Hokuten is like, ah, the Avenger, still immature after all this time. Kazuma's like, yo, what are you guys gonna do? And they're like, we're the enemies of Earth and Jupiter and everyone who seeks to control space, we're the Martian successors. And uh, Rory keeps calling the mystery guy and doesn't say shit. Leading the show, though, is General Kusakabe, formerly of the Jovian Army, and he announces that his troops are leading a, a beginning a new battle for the sake of a brighter future and tells everyone to behold the power that will propel them to victory. The targeting unit, the legacy of the ancient solar culture. It's like, wow, there it is. There's the thing. But wait a minute. It's unfolding like a flower. What the heck's inside it? And inside it is Eureka fused to the insides of the gadget. And I was like, what the fuck's even, what was she doing there? Like, had, didn't she die in an accident? I guess it was a fucking lie. 
Ryoko is flipping her shit at what they've done to her captain, but the ghost pilot says, don't get careless, Ryoko. And that warning uh, saves her life, but she gets badly damaged when Hockerton intercepts a charge. Hockerton says, uh, the spiral of space rises in a single night to the heaven, like the Hisago line. Uh, will the Akito perish in front of his woman? But it's Akito, right? It's <laughs> it's spelled his name across the thing, and it, and Hockerton is like, oh yeah, it's that guy who wants revenge for what we've done to you. Okay, it's Akito. You figured it out. Uh, Hockerton then escorts the fake Nadesco out of the battlefield, and uh, the rest of the nerds are in our way. And Kazuma's like, "Lo, be careful, Hockerton. They're pretty dangerous." And uh, and guy's like, "Elijah, our debt hasn't been repaid, so we gotta keep cooperating." Then a new ship is, uh, comes in. It's registered as Nurgles, and it's piloted by Lapis Lazuli. And Akito uh, orders Lapis to uh, support him. And Saburo's like, that's weird that we're working with the ghost now. And Roko's like, whatever. As long as uh, we get the successes for what they've done. And uh, Rory orders the Nesco B into the charge too. And uh, now he's got to do this shit. Let's go, Horace, you sick fuck. But yeah. Uh, we still do the. She still has to do a tune because that's all she's got. Is Harry? He's all right. I guess. There you go. There's the good shit. Okay, what's uh, Ryoko saying here? Uh, damn it! What have you done to Akido and the captain? I'm gonna smash your faces in, you bastards! Wow, it's true though. It's true though, they are a bunch of fuckers. And uh, we can't control him, and uh, he's gonna steal all of our kills, and it sucks. That's what happened. That's what's happened every single time he fucking shows up. He's almost as bad as Toby Kage. Give us the new Rory cut in. So we can see the new and improved six months older Rory. There we go. Got him. They keep throwing themselves at the Nadesco. They'll barely be alive, and Akado's gonna fucking steal them because he's a piece of shit. No, oh, and Lapis Lazuli's in it too. Rory's eyes do that golden thing too. It's really fucked up. When she is engaging with the with Omo Akane, like proper full on instead of just regular. But here's Akito in the, the Black Serena. This sick tail. There's uh, 
Harry? Yeah, Harry doesn't. He sucks. I need to have the juice for that. Mm. Fortunately, I committed hard. I'm Sabarota. Welcome to hell. We don't have resupply as the spirit command yet, so I can't refill them and do a map attack. This means we get one. in the thing. He's good. These weird big guys are Sekishikis, I believe. She got him with the core gravity. And with that. Shooting them all. Keep it up, buddy. Unfortunately, Saborota doesn't have. Multi combo, so he's a bit. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, fucking. Kill me now. Finally, do that, but they've all fucking moved now. <sighs> and she can't hit for shit anymore because she doesn't have any bullshit, actually. Can this idiot get there? With accelerate and a snipe? Maybe? Oh, yeah. Finally, guy's back. I 
And then they left. Well, there you go. Uh, if Saburoto gets to attack someone, he says, Geez, you guys could afford to be a little more flexible, you know? And uh, Guy says, uh, Daigoji, he says, Army of Darkness Reborn, I'll return you to the hell from which you came. Such is the mission of Guy Daigoji. Got problems. Anyway, they leave. Uh, they were only interested in keeping us from pursuing the Nadesco, so... But Elijah's like, who the heck are these things that helped us? Sirioka uh, recognized Akito when he called her name. He's like, wait! And Guy's like, yo, hold up! But then they leave without another word. It's like, dang it! Uh, Kazuma against the sisters says, We sunk that thing into Jupiter so it wouldn't be used for war. Screw you guys! Only you waste dads or Akito sacrifice, and then he's alive. News of Kusakabe's treachery is uh, bad news for Misamara and Forreston. Uh, apparently, uh, Genpachiro's hot blooded coup d'etat wasn't quite thorough enough. Uh, Corbett. Uh, this fucker at the bottom again attempts to assign blame uh, to the wardens, and everyone's like, "No, one, that union doesn't exist." And he's like, "Nope, nope, we should expunge all former Jovian uh, Union personnel from the army. Fuck them." And again, Pachiro, who looks like that on the bottom now, is like, "Do you think you can control the rioting that would occur if the newly assimilated Jovians were suddenly disenfranchised?" And he's like, But then he uh, starts going off again. He's like, "What do these Martian successors want?" And Gen Petro says, "Take over all the relics from ancient culture that used to occupy the solar system. Uh, even if uh, there's not many of them, they're so powerful it would level the playing field, right?" And the fact they revealed themselves suggests that the balance of power may have already tipped in their favour, seeing as they have a list of A-class jumpers in the boson jump targeting unit. Forrest and if, if they've uh, figured a way to fish the Y unit out of Jupiter, they might find a way to draw out the power. Uh, it's no surprise that the Kusakabe's people, who know about Jupiter, and the Eurasians, who know about boson jump research, have been on this, and the official word from Eurasia is that only a few dissidents are responsible. Uh, again, Pachiro figures that Kusakabe, while he's pretty good, is actually being manipulated by whoever's really pulling the strings. Uh, when asked about Kusakabe, he says that he's a man of a blazing heart and unshakable principle. He's willing to die for his ideals. His failing is that he thinks his ideals are shared by everyone. With the battle against the Zaf, not to mention the evil looters and the Radom in full swing, the only real choice is to send the new Nadesco after the old, uh, fake one. So, here's Rory on the Nadesco B. She's welcoming back all of her old friends uh, aboard the Nadesco, and Mihiro's like, WOW! Six months older and a captain already. And Akane is like, wow, you seem to have done a lot of growing these six months. And we're just like, puberty. Uh, Guy, Daigoji, and Ryoko are like, yeah, the Nesco choose claims changed a lot in six months. And Guy is uh, like, wait, who the heck are you? And Kaz was like, yeah, I've. I've I've seen you before somewhere, right? And then Harry is like, Oh no, this is what I used to look like. And everyone is like, Harry? I'm like, oh, it's you, Saboroda! Oh! Wow, you look real different for six months. And uh, Guy says that his change in appearance and attitude is a sign that Saboroda has forgotten his Gekigan soul. So uh, Kazum has to go, like, Guy. People have their Gekigan souls manifest in different ways. And he's like, wow. Wise words. Uh, but Rory's like, I'm not going to force you to join me. Like, I'm just glad to know you're all safe. But do keep me posted if you hear anything useful, right? And Kazuma's like, hell yeah. For free. And everyone's like, wow, you have grown up in six months too. Anyway, uh, he smiles and compliments her on a new hairstyle. And she blushes a lot. And then he says that Akito and Yurika are his friends too, and he's going to give no mercy to those who robbed them of their happiness. And uh, Rory is like, yeah, like, mega same. And uh, Mihiro thinks to herself, like, Rory was living with Akito and Yurika's family since the team broke up, and then this happened. Brr. On board home, though, uh, Shomi is uh, fielding the professor on the meetup, and she's uh, willing to help in the hunt for the success as ever she can, and in return she's got a job. Uh, on behalf of an old friend, uh, she uh, would have asked the Serpent's Tail most to do it, but she'd rather people she knows to be trustworthy, and the job is a simple delivery run to the Archangel. You know, that one that was 
very extremely wanted and they're on the run and we gotta chase them what do we got? multi combo and support colon I believe that is but I mean multi combo level 4 is pretty fucking good right? it's really good multi combo 3 is good too Multi combo 3 is useful more times than multi combo 4 is useful. I would say. And then support call in. That guy. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Give him a bit of dodging still, because he does still exist outside of the thing, doesn't he? Mm, yeah. Look that a little bit. She gets that and that, because she actually wasn't too hot. Same shit as before, same people as before. Ooh, can't even upgrade our bullshit anymore. That's rough. That's fine. Yep, 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 yep. And with that, I'm friggin' done!